Hi everyone, I kind of have to make this beginning a little short, so I'm sorry if I talk a little fast throughout this video, but um, today I'm going to be showing my entire elf quest of everything I have that is elf quest, and I don't just have the books, I have a lot of other things. So let's start. First off, I have one of these shirts, it's the first of many. This is an elf quest shirt with the elf, the elf Nightfall, and her wolf. And I have this one that was for the elf retreat in 1988. Um, and I have this one. Now, from your left, the characters go Skywise, Cutter, and Lita. Um, and then I have this one that is a shirt of Cutter, the Chief of the Wolf Riders, Blood of Ten Chiefs. The main, one of them, like, pretty much the main character in the entire series. Pretty much. They're all main characters in one way or another. And this last one is a shirt of Huntress Skyfire, who many of you know is the sister of Two Spear, one of the other Chiefs of the Wolf Riders in the past, and it says to hunt to hell to live free. And that's all the shirts I have. Um, this thing, not a lot of you are going to recognize because not a lot of people have it anymore. Uh, this is the ElfQuest role-playing game. See? The official role-playing game. This is the back. And pretty much it has a map book of the planet Adobe, which is, you know, the world of two moons. It has, like, a character book of the qualities of certain characters and other, like, elf tribes you may want to start and, like, put your own elf in and stuff like that. It's really kind of cool. I would open it, but I don't have enough time. <laughs> this is, like, a limit of 15 minutes. But, um, this is a portfolio of a lot of the ElfQuest pictures that Wendy Peeney drew on the back of a lot of the original Warp Graphic, um, comics. Um, these pictures are included, so some of you may recognize these, you know, Cutter, Lita, Rayek, Tree Stomp, Dushine, Pignose and all them, that's all that's included. I would take out the pictures right now, but, you know, as I said, time. Okay, first I will start with my singlets, like the single comics that I have, and then I'll move on from there into the collection books. So, um, this is... Edition number one, this is the Marvel printing, not the original Warp Graphics printing. This is the only one I have of a singlet of this one at least. This is the first one. And this is number two. This is the first one, like the first and second ones of the Grand Quest, by the way. Not the later on ones, as you can tell, probably. But just in case. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. And sixth one. Now, and then after that, I just have the final issue from the Grand Quest. Uh, this is the last one, of course, in the Marvel printing of the Grand Quest. Not the official, like, official ending of it, but, you know. Those of you who know off class know what I mean. Um, know these two. Uh, this is Summer Special number one. This is uh, Wolf Shadow, and this chapter was actually included in the collector's book in All But Blood, which is one of the few I don't have. I'm sorry to say. It is one of my favorite books, though. I read them online. Yeah, all these comics are f available for free online, by the way, too, on the Elf Quest website. But this is number two. I don't have number three, the second part of this one. Uh, this is Recognition. These ones, not a lot of you are going to recognize, probably, because these ones are really kind of old. Um, these have some chapters of some later on elf quests, kind of like Wild Hunt, and I think Jink is included. This is the fourth one, but this is the uh, only, like, I only have two of them, so this is the fourth one. This is the, oh shit, fifth one. <laughs> As I said, they have, like, a bunch of chapters from later on series. Um... Next, I have King of the Broken Wheel. Kings of the Broken Wheel. Sorry, plural. This is the first one. Um, Kings of the Broken Wheel is the series, well, the later on series, second one, of when Rick tries to get in between Cutter and his family. This is the third one. Fourth one. This comic book series, this uh, particular 
part because I have the collector book too, but the Kings of the Broken Wheel is actually pretty sad. This is the, the fifth one. Sorry. Sixth one. Seventh one. Eighth one. And I have two copies of number nine. They're both in here. You might be able to see that. Right now. Uh, this is the first copy of New Blood, the Warp Graphics printing. This is the only one of the singlets that I have due to the fact that my mom didn't really like these, so she never looked for the rest of them. And I never did either. Um, this is Elf Quest Hidden Years. This is just kind of old, un tongue tied, sorry. Untold Stories. Uh, this is the first one. This is the Strongbow. This is the second one. This one has to do with uh, Kavi and the Little Castle. This is Little Patch. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. This is when you see Ember as a teenager. I like Ember a lot, so that's one of my favorites. This is the saddest one. This is the fifth one. This one has to do with Skywise and his parents and what happened to Shale and Ice High, which are, you know, his parents. Sixth one. This one has to do with the High Ones and what happened when they first came to the planet Adobe. This is the finishing up that one. This is the seventh. And here's the eighth. Which this one has to do with React trying to win, cut her over again. Uh, this one, number nine, has to, like, goes in deeper to the relationship of Lita and React before Cutter came along. Number ten, this is, you know, obviously when a, tra when a certain kind of tragedy goes down that I don't want to give away. Uh, this is number eleven. And Tyreet, it's a human. Number twelve, this one's just full of surprises, so I'm not going to say anything about that one. Number 13, and this is the last one of Hidden Years that I have. Okay. Um, and then I have Blood of Ten Chiefs. <laughs> um, this is the first one. Blood of Ten Chiefs is about the past Chiefs of the Wolf Riders. Most of them, it doesn't say anything about. It doesn't say stuff about all of them, but most of them. So, number two, number three, number four, number five, and that's all I have for Blood of Ten Chiefs. Um, next, up I, next up I have is Siege of Blue Mountain. This is number one. This one kind of is... This one's directly after the Grand Quest, if I remember right. Number two. Another copy of number two. Um, three. These are the warp graphic printings of Siege of Blue Mountain, by the way. Four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. That's all of Siege of Blue Mountain. Um, then I have the Warp Graphics Annual. Not a lot of you are going to have seen this before. Uh, this came out only through Warp Graphics. Marvel and I never released it, obviously, since the name. But this one had ElfQuest in it and it had Unicorn Isle, PandaCon, Thunder Bunny, Captain Obese. Myth Adventures, Blood of the Innocent, and A Distant Soil, which are all comic books, you know, distributed through Warp Graphics. Um, these ones, not a lot of you are going to recognize either. Um, these are the original Wave Dancers that came out before the Collector's Edition book came out with um, Brill, um, Spine, and all them, you know. These are completely different characters, completely different stories, and stuff like, well, not completely different stories, because it's still kind of the same basis, but, you know, different characters, different things going on. It's the first one. Uh, this is the second one, third one, and fifth one. I don't have the fourth one, and that really kind of bothers me, actually. So. Alright, next up are my collector's books. I'm going to be starting on those. Okay. This is book one. This is Fire and Flight. This printing was in 1981, I believe it says on the inside. I just don't want to look right now. Um, but this is the 1980s print of it. The first collector's book printing, I believe, of the books. So said this is Fire and Flight. Not a lot of people have this edition anymore, so it's very rare. This is the second one. This is Forbidden Grove. And the Grand Quest, you know, it's the beginning of it all, so that's definitely one that you guys should read if you haven't. Um, this is book three, Captives of Blue Mountain. Probably my second favorite. Fire and Flight's my all-time favorite. Um, book four, The Quest End. End of the grand quest, I guess you could say. I stuttered. Okay. 
And here's book six, uh, Siege at Blue Mountain. I have the singlets, as you saw, as well. This one's in color, though. Uh, this book's... That's book five, sorry. This is book six, um, Secret of Two Edge. Um, the Cry from Beyond. That's book number seven. Um, this is book eight, Kings of the Broken Wheel, which as you saw, I have those singlets as well. Um, this is Dreamtime, another kind of part of Kings of the Broken Wheel. Rogue's Curse is a pretty good one. This has to do with Rayak and stuff like that, so if you like him, that's definitely one to read. Uh, this is number 9A. That other one was 9. And this is 9A. This is Wolf Rider. This has to do with when Bear Claw was chief and what all happened with the tribe while he was there, because since, you know, you, they talk about him so much in the Grand Quest, you know, why not dedicate a whole book to him? But, oh yeah, and in Wolf Rider, you also get to see Crescent, which was Strongbow and Moonshade's first cub, and so you get to find out what happened to her, which I thought that part was really sad but interesting at the same time. Blood Ten Chiefs, the collector's book. Kavi, this one goes into Kavi's past, um, and it also has all the two spear chapters in it as well. So, you know, that's part of the Blood of Ten Chiefs saga. Uh, Chief's House is the last one of Blood of Ten Chiefs. Shards, which is possibly one of my favorites. I love the Shards series. Um, and this one has to do, this one has to go with the whole tragedy thing that I told you I wasn't going to talk about because that would give it away. And some of you would be upset with me for spoilers. Legacy, despite the cover, this one has to do with Ember and her tribe when the tribe gets split up. What her half of the tribe, like how she's faring with her half of the tribe and stuff like that. Huntress is another one about Ember that's been continuing on with that. Uh, Wild Hunt, this is Ember kind of as she's older and more grown up and how she's kind of grown into her chief's lock and stuff like that. This one is one of my favorites as well. It's very pricey on the internet. Um, Shadow Stalker, it's concluding the ones of Wild Hunt. Ascent, this one is, it's called the Shard Saga in these ones, so, you know, this is another one following Cutter in them. When the tribe splits up and Ember has her half, that this one follows Cutter, and this one does too. This is the ending of it. This is Reunion. Okay. Now, as I said, the New Blood ones, I have the collector's book. This is the first one. This is Forever Green. And I like New Blood because you get to see Dart, and he's one of my favorites too, just because he's so much like Strongbow. Um, Dream's End, the second one to New Blood, and Phoenix. This is the last one, and yeah. Those ones are highly recommended as well. Um, this is the Wave Dancers, the Collector's Book Edition. As I said, not the same as the singlets. Completely different characters, completely different, like, goings on and stuff like that. It's really interesting. Um, these ones are kind of extras. Uh, this is Hidden Years, a Collector's Book. This one's hardback, and it's completely in color. Stuff like that. Very beautiful artwork in it. It contains the first five, um... Hidden Years, so I really like reading that one. Um, this one, Bedtime Stories. This one is just kind of made up bedtime stories by um, Lita and Cutter in them to put Suntop and Ember to sleep. And this one is my newest one that I just got. Um, this one is, of course, The Discovery. This is one of my favorites. This is when the elves that we already know um, actually go down and meet the wolf, the, oh my god, I almost said wolf riders, <laughs> meet the wave dancers for the first time, so it's kind of interesting to see how that plays out and stuff, and, you know, Suntop, or Sunstream as he's now known, kind of finds his own, like, love mate, and then it, it continues on from there, but, um, that's all I have, I also have, like, actually a little miniature book, but that one's really rare, and we have that locked up, it's, like, safe, so yeah, but for those of you who know, ElfQuest and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed my collection. For those of you who don't know what ElfQuest is, highly recommend that you check it out. The characters are so wonderful. The artwork is so beautiful. The story is magnificent. It is quite possibly one of my favorite book series out there. Not just out of comic books, just book series in general. So, highly recommend you guys check it out if you don't already. And if you know what it is, you know, cool. So, yeah, I'll wrap this up. So, see you next time. Bye.